Ms. Haney, as you gave the, the speech at the end of practice last night of turning the page, last week was last week, mm -hmm. focus on now that you're in the Big 12 championship, go win the Big 12 championship. Do you have any, any inkling that that won't be received the right way and taken the right way this week? I mean, I'm comfortable with this team because of their maturity, and we know that we've been in what would be a playoff system for the last five weeks, right? You get to a point... Uh, you know, about the time we start talking about, are you going to watch the Tuesday night show? Once you get to that point, you're kind of, if you win, you're alive. If you lose, you know, you better hope that you get a couple breaks to get back into the picture. So they've been good every week. Um, they burned a lot of energy. They burned a lot of emotion um, last Saturday night. We can't, that, that, that's over with. That's nothing to do with this next game. Absolutely zero. And we're playing a good football team that has also improved during the year. They're a better team now than they were when we played them. And these are this is a good football team. They have talent. They know what they're doing. I think they're well coached. On, on in all phases, I think they're well coached. And so, if our guys don't reprogram themselves to this week, then they don't give themselves to play at the chance to play at the highest level Saturday morning. You just can't. Um, so. I mean, we don't get any guarantees in winning the game, but, but we can control the guarantee that we can play at the highest level we can based on our commitment this week. And I don't think that will be an issue. I think there's enough maturity that these guys will prepare and practice well Tuesday and Wednesday. From an XO and talent standpoint, what are the biggest concerns with Taylor? Well, um, their schemes are good. Uh, they know what they're doing. They're, they've, they block well. They've got skill at the running back position. We know that. they got skill at the wide receiver position. <clears throat> their quarterback was a runner and a thrower. I don't know which quarterback's playing. The other guy came in and played pretty good from what I see. Now, I have not studied him as much as the other guys in the building. I hadn't got that far. Uh, defensively, they're aggressive. Uh, you know, they play zone. They play man. They don't sit back. Um, eight, you know, makes play after play after play. The big nose guard makes a bunch of football plays. They're active. They're running. And you're also seeing a team that's winning. So when they win, they play harder. That's where they're at. Uh, these are two equal teams. I mean, we're, we're, we're on the same level. Um, it's going to be the, um, you know, field position is going to be important. Special teams going to be important. Um, we all know that effort and turnovers play a big role. Uh, and you go play. Uh, we need to control what we can control, uh, which I think they will with the maturity that's in that locker room. Talked about the atmosphere Saturday night. Mm -hmm. um, can't replicate that in Jerry world. But your fans, it looks like, responding mm -hmm pretty significantly. How do you how much do you hope to create a, have a pretty electric atmosphere in that game Saturday? I mean I, I'm sure that we're gonna sell every ticket. I, they're hard to come by. We can't get tickets. So um, I know that our administration wanted to provide every ticket we could for the fans once we take care of the people that are involved in the game and, and I'm I'm guessing that that's already taken place. But Saturday night comes back to the discussion that I had earlier with that environment is the way it should be. Again, if we're going to take this step, then they have to be a part of it. And so, um, I, and they were, and they have been this year, and, and they were Saturday night. I'm guessing that all of our seats down there uh, will be full and everybody will be excited and, and ready for, to watch us play again because that's kind of been the attitude of the fans and the team both this season. Into that stadium, I think twice. Yeah, several times we've Florida played. Was there an yeah, I've, we've played there several times. Yeah. Is, you think this will be a little different because one was a season opener, neutral mm -hmm. site type deal, and then bowl games. This is a little different animal. You know, I would think it would be like uh, it was a pretty exciting environment when we played Florida State. There was a lot of people there. They had just won a national championship, and there was kind of an electric feel to that game like you had out here Saturday night during warm-ups. Bowls are a little different because fans have been there a week and they've been partying and it's not quite like, uh, it's, it's good, but now when we were in the Fiesta Bowl, you had that feeling and the Sugar Bowl and really the Cotton Bowl. But I think it'll be different. I think it'll be more like the Florida State game where everybody's revved up because, you know, they're probably going to get in there on Friday night, get up, come straight to the stadium. They'll be ready to roll. I, I would guess it would be a pretty cool environment from that standpoint. Oh, I'm obvious. Is this your first rematch scenario? 
It's my first what? With someone in the same season. I mean, it would have to be, right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, we've never done it in the season, yeah. What do you think of that? Oh, you know, I mean, I, I think that when we decided to have the, the conference game or somebody decided it, uh, might have been pressure from the committee, uh, playoff system. Uh, maybe there's more money in it from a television revenue. I don't. I don't know the particulars of it. Um, we, you know, we had our league set up to where we played each other. So the way it used to be decided, you really did have a champion. Um, and uh, then they've gone this route. We all signed up for it. I will say that it it does generate more interest and and TV viewers because um, right to the end they watch I'm guessing all of the Baylor fans watched our game to see what happened so you draw more attention and viewers to that game because they're watching to see can we get in the game um, so for that from that standpoint um, I would say it's positive you know it's uh, it would have been a little bit unusual to play to play um, OU and then turn around and play them six days later. That would have been unusual. Just, I don't know. I mean, that kind of been weird. You know, I actually was thinking of what to say if y'all asked me about that. You know, the old Ernie Banks deal, let's play two concept was, I, that's the only thing I had to say. I don't know, but I, I was going to, it's kind of weird. But we haven't played him in quite a while. Right. So that helps. I was going to say that, that it didn't feel so much like a rematch because it's been two months. I would agree it, it, because it's been a while, yes. So I, but is there any, fine-tuning in terms of a coaching standpoint. Let's, let's, we did this when we saw him here the first time we played mm -hmm. him, so let's be careful not to do this thing there in, in Dallas. So, so, you know, what's interesting with that is they're really kind of who they are and we're kind of who we are. There's, I've already had that discussion with, with them this morning with both groups, and when you look at the last few games of them and you look at our games, I mean, we're kind of who we are and they're kind of who they are. There hasn't been much a, a dramatic change uh, you know, they played another quarterback, but their philosophies were pretty much the same. Same thing with us. I mean, we play the other quarterback. We don't really change other than we don't run him on option. Like, if you win this game, I think you're going to make the playoff. <clears throat> Have you thought about what that could do for the program? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. You know, uh, I guess maybe subconsciously. Um, um, I mean, at some point I have to – um, hypothetically think through every situation in my mind uh, to, to be able to make a good decision the next day. Uh, I haven't really got that far yet. Um, um, I'll just, I guess we'll just have to wait and see um, where it goes. What, what I really want, and, and not just coaches talk, but um, I really want the players to focus and practice hard this week and, and give themselves to play at the chance to play at the highest level Saturday because that will make me happy. Um, and, and as I told the team, I guess I'll kind of conclude with this, a little bit about what your, the question you asked me is, that um, since we've started this new format of having a championship game, years before, we were playing in a game most of the time against Oklahoma at the end of the year that the winner was the Big 12 champion, right? Four, three, four, five times, I don't know. But we've been in that situation based on it was the last game of the year, and if you won, you won it. If you didn't, you got second. But this is the first time that this format's been out that I've been in the championship game. And for you guys, it's the same. And there are no guarantees that you can ever get in this again. We don't know that. So I'm asking you to maximize yourself in all areas to give yourself the best chance to play that you can play on Saturday. Um, so as you look back on it, you don't have any regrets. And so when you talk about what, going where you're going, that kind of falls into that because if you have a chance at that, you want to make sure you maximize yourself because – well, you said this six weeks ago or four weeks ago. You know, you're, you're close to having a chance to do something special. Have you thought about it? I didn't really then, but I have over the last couple of weeks because how many more times do you get to this chance? You don't get this opportunity a lot, and that's kind of where we're at right now. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.